All right, so today is day number 32, okay? <laughs> and um, I'm just, you know, thinking, you know, about my life and how things went and, you know, about... I thought maybe I would share my thoughts with you on my recovery day, and this is my journal. And, you know, I thought it might be, you know, a good idea to kind of share exactly what uh, happened a little bit in my life. Oh, uh, what happened? All right. All right. First of all, <laughs> you know, teenagers sometimes get too big for their britches. You know what I mean? <laughs> they be too big to spank. Okay. And I'm not about to spank him now that he's in his 30s. Okay, so, but picture this, all right? <laughs> you got yourself a young, childish, immature, uneducated teenager telling mama what to do. And he's drunk, high on something, smoking weed and shit. <laughs> I think it's funny because he wants somebody to smack mama ass. Well, my husband won't give him the right to do that. Who does that? By the time he realized that what he did wrecked our whole lives, our whole family, our marriage, everybody, everybody else's life, my youngest, my oldest, my middle, every one of them's lives is wrecked over a drunk, high teenager <laughs> issues. He too big for his britches. All right. My husband shot himself. They cremated his body. On this day, two years ago, because of that reason right there, after he realized what he did was listen to a teenager just so he could get the right power and the right and the power to spank mama. Okay, well, that's a little too much guilt for a little boy to take on. Now he's in his 30s, okay? But he's responsible for that, okay? And, listen, I still ain't listening to no teenager telling me what to do. I'm mama. I'm educated. I'm educated. I'm not stupid. I'm allowed to drink a beer. Your crazy ass is too big for your branches. You ain't allowed to tell mama what to do. You wrecked their body life, and your dad shot himself for that. Okay, it's a lot to handle, ain't it? I ain't about to smack you. Okay, but and I ain't about to let nobody do it either. That's enough guilt all by itself. All right. Okay. Relax. I'm not going to let nobody hit you for that. I think they already did. I hope you don't kill yourself. Because you made a stupid decision, did something stupid when you was a teenager. And it wrecked everybody's life forever. And it's not forever. We can fix this. And I'm not holding it against you, seriously. Your husband, my, your husband, my husband, your daddy couldn't handle. Swallowing his pride, saying he's sorry. A spike in your ass. And because he's afraid you're going to tell on him. Because he was a bad kid. He was a bad dad. <laughs> and you know too many secrets. And I realize you guys had a secret relationship where, you know, you held his secrets. And that's all right, okay? But Daddy realized that, you know, you can't hide shit you do forever <laughs> from people. People are not stupid. After a minute, they figure out, oh, hell no. You a drug dealer and a meth manufacturer, and you tell your wife, you can't drink beer? <laughs> oh, wait a minute here. We been duped. Instead of going to jail, going to prison for that, he shot himself. That's one of my theories, but definitely my children got that guilt on their shoulders, okay? Okay, they're carrying that weight. I didn't die for nothing they did. I'm still drinking beer. I ain't got to be the perfect mother of Jesus Christ to be the mother of my children, okay? I'm just saying, okay? I'm going to go back to college and be a counselor. Hopefully I can, you know help people who do that kind of stuff because you can kind of see where that's going it, you know way back then there was people who knew better <laughs> okay i paid my bills okay i was a good mom i was awake the whole fucking time 
I wasn't on no drugs. I'm allowed to drink beer. My son was pissed off. He's high on something. Too big for his britches. Drunk too. Think he know everything. He gonna tell his mommy what to do. Well, this is the result. Everybody listen to the child. Okay. Now, let me tell you something. I know everybody listening to him feel real stupid <laughs> by now. They looking at him going, I know you did that because you was young. Don't you dare be spanking my son because that's too much guilt. Somebody died over that. We all had a wreck because of all that. I'm the only one sitting here going, see, I told you. And I've still got not, uh, a beer in my hand. And I'm not being a smart aleck. I'm just allowed to be a human being. Okay? Just saying. Just saying. This is what we going through.